Hello. I'm here to do a review for the R Earth Rinky Slim case for the new Nexus 5. I did a review last year for the exact same case for the Nexus 4, and it was fairly popular on YouTube, so I figured I would do a follow up and then also a comparison between the cases for the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 5. So, enjoy! Okay, here's the packaging, just like last year. It comes in the same box, exact same thing, talking about them being eco friendly. Last year I had no idea how to pronounce this company. I guessed Re-Earth, Re-Earth, I had no idea. Um, somebody said R-Earth, and I thought that sounded pretty good, so that's what I'm sticking with, R-Earth. Okay, here's the case. It's very slim. It's very, very similar to the Nexus 4 case. In fact, here's the Nexus 4 case. Um, this has been in use for a year. It's held up really well. The, this one actually has a better soft touch plastic than the Nexus 4 case did. It feels like they upgraded the material a little bit. Uh, just has a like a softer feel. It feels really good in your hand. Okay, let's see how it fits on the phone. This one you kind of have to snap in from the sides. And then there it is. Um, it snaps on there really, really easily. Uh, it fits really, really tight. It's got a real solid, solid feel. Um, last year when the the case for the 4 came out. I complained about it feeling kind of squishy when you would squeeze it right here. Uh, that was a problem with the first run batch and they actually they actually sent me another one um, after the fact uh, when I requested it and uh, it really cleaned that up. But this one doesn't have that doesn't have that issue at all. It's just a really tight solid fit overall. Okay here are the two phones together in their cases. Um, they're really similar but one thing I noticed um, if you can really tell on the video or not on the Nexus 4 case here on the left, the the case kind of bevels in there and it makes it really easy to hit the button. The Nexus 5 case, it's just kind of squared off and it's not quite so nice feeling. It's the same thing, it's the same thing over here. This just bevels in on the Nexus 4 on the right there and this one is just squared off and I feel like the Nexus 4 design was just slightly better. Another difference between the two cases is on the Nexus 4, it's totally the edge of the case is totally flush with the screen uh, and it makes this the side just just really easy to do because there's no lip there. On the Nexus 5 case it is raised a little bit. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's raised a little bit and I've noticed that the gestures are still pretty easy to do but it does kind of catch your finger a little bit and it's not quite as easy as the case was on the 4. One of my main complaints last year on the Nexus 4 case was this uh, the charm attachment here. Uh, on the Nexus 4 it was right in the corner and it would dig into your dig into your palm. The Nexus 5 case it's raised up just a little bit off the corner and it doesn't seem to protrude so far out from the side of the case so when you hold it in your hand I can't really feel it like I could on the Nexus 4 case so that's better. Okay I'm not really gonna be able to show you this but my number one complaint about this case is there are sharp edges right here down here and at this opening. There's this seam that runs along here and where it meets it there's just this sharp edge and it's annoying to the point where I can't really stand having the case on with it so I think I'll probably take a little bit of sandpaper and file these down but just be aware of that like it's it's really it's really annoying and uncomfortable to hold because they they dig into your into your skin when you rub them the wrong way. Right off the bat the Nexus 5 seems like it's going to be a more robust phone than the Nexus 4. Uh, but the, the only problem spot I can see is this camera right here, the fact that it sticks up with no case on it. So it, it'll be kind of nice to have a, a case on it just to protect the camera from getting scratched. Okay, on the Nexus 4 case, just the four corners were raised up, uh, not the sides. On this one, uh, the actual sides running along the length are raised up, so you get a little bit more solid protection. You can kind of see it from that angle. You can see the gap that goes under there. And then from this, you can see that it's that it's solid like that. Whereas with the Nexus 4, it was just just the corners. See what I'm talking about there? Okay, with this case, you're gonna get not really much protection here at all because this is totally open on the tops and the bottom. The sides you would be good. Face down you might be okay. The back you'll you'll be all right. Uh, but the tops and the bottoms are exposed. So if they hit like that, you're gonna damage the case or you're gonna damage the phone. So for anyone curious how well the Nexus 4 case stood up to a year worth of wear and tear, it did really well. I'm pretty easy on my phones, but uh, this case lasted well, it still, it still fits great. Uh, I only ever dropped the phone once, 
It took a spill from about three feet on concrete right there and just nicked the case a little bit. Didn't damage the phone at all. Um, but like I said, I'm real easy on phones. Uh, I'm pretty protective of them, so your mileage will vary. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this case. It's incredibly slim, it fits well, the soft touch plastic feels great, and it does protect the camera, but there are some downsides. The number one negative thing I can say about this case is that the sharp edges at the seams just really get on my nerves. I'm going to take some sandpaper to them and file them down a little bit, and I'll let you guys know uh, on the video later how it came out, if it, if it fixed it or not. This is also a slim case that isn't going to protect the phone from repeated drops, or maybe even one drop. So if you're careful with your phone, this might be the case for you. If you're not careful with it, it's probably not. But the number one thing I can say is that I just don't know that the Nexus 5 even needs a case. The Nexus 4 was glass, it was super slippery, it was a nightmare. But the Nexus 5 feels great, it already has a soft touch plastic and it feels more robust. So honestly, I just don't know that a case is even needed on this phone and I don't know if I'm even going to use a case or not. If I have to give this case a score, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. It's good, but not great, and honestly it's not quite as good as the Nexus 4 case was, and also not quite as needed. Thanks for watching.